Welcome. Today we're going to talk about matrix addition and scalar multiples, which is both concepts are actually fairly simple. Um, they are a little time consuming, so I'm only going to sign one IXL. Now I'm sure it will take you plenty of time to get it up to 90%. Um, if you do have questions when you get to it, do contact me, but let's go over it and let's make sure you know how to do it. Let's first of all say we have two matrix, matrix A, and we always usually designate matrices with capital letters. So this is matrix A, it's a two by two with four terms or four elements of two, negative four, seven, and five. Matrix B is another two by two matrix, negative five, seven, four, and three, also having four elements. If I wanted to do A plus B, right, so I'm adding the two, all you simply do is you add the first element to the first element and we get negative three, right? Um, same thing, we just move along. Add the top, I guess it would be row one, column two's element, that's row one, column two, to row one, column two's element in the second matrix, and we get three. Move on to the next element. We do the row two, column one, element seven, add it to row two, column one, element four, and we get a sum of 11 in that row two, column one. And last but not least, we do the last one. The last element plus the last element equals the last element. And again, those were all row two, column two. And if this happened to be three by three matrices, we would do the same thing. You just do each corresponding element with its corresponding elements in the other matrices and add them together. And that's our final solution, right? If And just like addition, uh, the order we add doesn't really matter. If I was to flip the order of those two matrices and add them together, I would get the exact same sum. But when it comes to subtraction, we gotta be careful. Just like with normal numbers, when you subtract, the order does matter. So again, if I was to do A subtract B, you know, two minus, now watch your signs, minus a minus five is adding five, we get seven for that first element in the first row, first column. Then when we add negative four, or not add, subtract, when negative four minus seven more, we get a negative 11 in the first row, second column. Seven minus four is three in that third or the second column, sorry, second row, first column. Again, it's always try to keep a track of your rows and your columns. And then the last row or the second uh, row, second column added to the second row, second column, or so I'm sorry, not add, subtract is gonna be two. Five minus three is two. So because again, addition and subtraction are basically the same thing. You just gotta watch your signs. If we flip the order of A and B though, we do get a different answer. We get actually the opposite. Negative seven, ne positive 11, negative three, negative two. It changes the signs on all the terms if you change the order. Now, unlike single integers, when you add and subtract matrices, it can be undefined. You cannot add two matrices that are the, no, not the same size. Remember, if this matrix, now we do rows first, is a three by two, because there's two columns, we cannot add a three by two to a two by three, because you have to have the exact same number of elements in each row and column. So these, whether you're adding or subtracting, would be considered undefined. So is, if the matrices don't aren't the same size, you just right off the bat say they're undefined. Now let's talk about a scalar multiple. Scalar multiple is actually quite simple. Basically, you're given a matrix. Again, the matrix has a capital letter that designates it. And then we have some scalars, which are designated by lowercase letters, like just three, or C is equal to negative six. And now what we wanna do is we wanna do B times A, where B is just a scalar. If you notice, I have it sitting in front. I write it three times. And then all I do is I actually distribute it in to every single element in the matrix. So I'm gonna multiply each of these by three. 
And if you notice, as I look across here, you know, three times two is six, three times seven is 21, three times negative four is negative 12, three times six is 18, three times nine is 27, three times zero is zero, three times zero is zero, three times negative five is negative 15, and three times three is nine. So again, if you multiply a three by three scalar by a constant or a scalar, it's, the solution will be a three by three scalar where everything is three times as big. Watch your minus sign. If I take that matrix A and I multiply it by a negative six, then it's also gonna change the sign as I multiply six times two that, and six is negative, gives me a negative 12. Negative six times seven is a negative 42. Negative six times negative four is positive 24, and so forth. So again, scalar multiple is very simple. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a combination of the two. So for instance, if I have two matrices, a two by two matrix and another two by two matrix, now since I'm gonna do some addition and subtraction, I'd have to have the same size matrices, otherwise it'd be undefined, and I could just say, hey, I'm done, it's undefined, if one of these wasn't the same size. And then I have a couple scalars. G is three and H is negative two. Now I go GB minus HA. Now again, be very careful. B is this matrix here and I'm multiplying by G, which is three. So I put a three times that matrix B and then I minus my scalar factor of H, which is a negative two times my matrix A, which is the three, seven, negative five, one. Now, the biggest mistake students will make when they're adding, subtracting, and multiplying by scalars is their signs. First thing you'll notice is I have a minus, a minus two. That's gonna become a plus two. So I didn't even distribute in yet. I basically eliminated this double minus by making it addition. I did distribute into three. Three times two is six. Three times negative four is negative 12. Three times negative two is negative six. And three times six is 18. Eliminated the negative again. Now I distribute in the two. Two times three is six. Two times seven is 14. Two times negative five is negative 10. Two times two is four. So again, we'll do the multiplication before we do the addition and subtraction. Now that I've done that, now I'm gonna add six plus six is 12. Negative 12 plus 14 is two. Negative six plus negative 10 is negative 16. And 18 plus two is 20. And we get our final solution. So if we multiply two scalars, or two two by two matrices by scalars and then add them, we'll get a two by two matrix answer. That's basically the whole lesson. Um, again, make sure you remember if the matrices are different sizes and you're trying to add or subtract them, it would be undefined. Watch your signs very carefully. If you do have any questions, please um, contact me during my office hours at one o'clock. Um, or email me and I'll set up a time to talk to you one-on-one. -on -one.